what is going on guys long time no see today we're on our way to miami we're getting ready we're gonna head over there and i'm gonna see if i can find some iguanas i want to try a new recipe cook them up and see if it comes out good for you guys till then see you guys in miami oh no what happened the other iguana ran out of my pocket <laughs> we got a big one though all right can i hold them that'd be so cool <laughs> All right, so I see an iguana in here, and I don't know how back, how far this hole goes back, but I'm gonna see if I can grab him. Here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> oh, I thought I broke his leg, I broke his tail. Oh my God, dude. Right. So this guy bit onto my foot or to my shorts. We got this guy right here. So that's three. All right, so we got three of them right now. We're gonna see if we can get some more. Well, we caught three. It's going like crazy, but those last last two were in rocks. That's the first time ever that I did. I stuck my hand in the hole and I ripped them out. So let's see if we can get at least two more. And we're gonna make these uh, iguana wings real quick. No, I might just grab the line over here where I saw him go into the hole. That's exactly what I'm going to do. There's my iguana right there. He doesn't see me, so I might just grab him. There we go, just like that. And now I'm just gonna bite this off. Keep my lure and then I can just reel in all that slack. But that's a nice iguana right there. It's bigger than all the ones I have. So, he'll make some good chicken wings. Got another one. Oh. This one's real wild. There we go. No one bite me, buddy. He's got his claw in his own mouth. Come on. That's hurting yourself. There you go. This one's really pretty. All the other ones I've been getting are like really gray. This one is really green. Nice coloring. To the cooler he goes. I mean, check this guy out. He just wants to play. All right, I just took him out of the cooler. This is the biggest one, the second biggest. And this one, this is the one with the best colors on it might skin that one home but basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean them up take these legs off get the meat off the tails and just get to it all right let's do this big boy right here we're gonna knock off these legs and i'm gonna do it really quickly i'm just gonna knock off the legs the tail uh the way that i'm doing it i'm not preserving the skin so if you want to preserve the skin uh, i'm sure other people on youtube have videos of that but i'm just gonna show you how i do them for the recipe i'm gonna do today so find this joint cut around the skin and then you see the joint right in here go straight down cut that skin off that's one leg flip them over cut around both sides again look for his joint You can see he's got a lot of what well, looks like dirt, but it's actually just old skin that's coming off. Look at that. Just peels right off. Anyways, let's get back to it. Same thing. Watch out with his butt right there. Come on both sides, cut all the skin off. Find that joint. Cut into it 
Back legs are way bigger too. Flip them over. Boom. Work yourself around the tail now. Cut all the meat. And simple, just gonna crack it. Like I said, he lost his tail earlier, so we're gonna go right here. Angle your knife a little bit, get underneath those scales, it makes it a lot easier to cut. Like so. Just break it and tear it. Here we got our legs right here. Two front legs, they're gonna be smaller, and then our two back legs. Get our knife, go in here. He got, he's got a nasty wound here, so we're gonna have to cut out some meat here, probably. Get in there, find that joint. Cut to the other side. Cut the skin, too. You don't wanna leave any. Break the joints, cut them off. Check that out. Nice size foot. Keep it going. All right, so I just finished cutting up all the legs. These are our two thighs in the back and our two fr our two uh, drums that go with it. And then these are our two front thighs and our two drums. You can look at the size comparison to them. But now we're gonna skin these. And to skin them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your knife through it following the skin out to the other side and then cutting the skin. When you do that, you're able to, you see there, you kind of leave yourself, you don't miss any meat either, but you give you a nice, self, a nice platform to start your knife and it just rolls right on out. So there's our drum. Again, we're gonna go here on our flat. Go out to the other side, cut the skin. And then, just gonna follow it on down. Just like so, so that's our flat. Let's get one of these big ones. Show you how to do these. Same thing, just drive it through. Go on the skin. Cut it. Ooh, this is a heavy piece. Running on back. That's that's a nice piece of meat right there. Let's do it to now a flat. That goes in. Cut the skin. Check that out. So I forgot to hit record, but what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna get it and you're gonna cut the skin right here. And you're gonna start working your knife just for a second, a little bit here and just skin it out. And once you get enough, you should be able to lay it down. and work your knife around the meat. Should be good right there. And get the longer knife to do this. And kind of just start rolling it and taking all that meat off. I'm missing a little piece right here. Coming with a sharp knife. And just slowly skin it back out.
It really does look almost like fish. Right here we go. Put our knife in again. Let's try it one more time. And just roll it out. Continue to roll it. Flip it on the other side. Hitting, I'm hitting the bones now. It's like it's almost like pin bones. Just gotta keep going. There we go. Once we're to the top, should be able to just kind of rip it off. And there you go. You have your tail meat. So I just finished cleaning the first iguana, and these are our two back thighs and their drums, and then their two front thighs and their drums, and here's the tail meat. So out of a, you know, three and a half, four foot iguana, these are the main cuts of meat you have. Most of the meat's in the tail, but legs have a lot of meat. Well, there we go. We have about four pounds of meat for five iguanas. Uh, that's 40 wings right there and five tails. So this is a good appetizer for the family. So now we're just going to wash our meat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some salt and basically scrub them down. Any slime, anything like that. See right here, these are from uh, little spikes that they have. Just pull that off. And what it smells like is, it smells like when you, when you're trying to catch some bait and you get a lot of sea, like weeds and you know, hydrilla, all that, it smells like that, the, the plant life. And we're just gonna get all of it. It's a nice drum right there. Just grab all of it, put it in our, in our bag. So now we're gonna add some olive oil, some salt and pepper, garlic powder, this is uh, cayenne, chipotle, and paprika. And then we're gonna go in with the Everglades fish and chicken. Finish it off. Close that up. We're just gonna let that sit in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Mom, you can't tell me that does not look like chicken. It is not chicken. It's what is it? What does it look like? Frog legs. Frog legs. Hey, frog legs still taste good. We got fire. Come here, boy. So here we have some apple wood. Go ahead and put it right on our coals and that'll give us our smoke. Whoa. Look how good they look. Right now we have the smoker at 225, which is perfect. Uh, with iguana, since it's a very lean meat and there's not that much fat and it's also very small, we don't want to overcook it, so we want to keep it about that 140, 150 range, and then see what we go from there. But we want to keep it really low because if we overcook it, that iguana's gonna get really, really hard and it's gonna become chewy. But that smoker is going really well right now, so I think it's about time to go ahead and we put the iguana on. So we're just gonna dump it out first and then move it around. Spread these suckers out. Now we have everything spread out. We can go ahead and close it. And we're gonna try not to open this too much. All right, so we're gonna check on these wings. And they look great. So, iguana meat has to be 165 degrees to eat. And right now we're at 120. Let's get the center. 120 on the big pieces. Let's check this piece right here. 125. 125, 132. 
So just a little bit more to go, but I mean, they all have really good color. Definitely a lot of smoke in them, which is really good. About 140 to 150, so about another 10, 20 degrees to go until they're done. I'm gonna take them off and put the sauce on them and then wrap them in aluminum foil and put them in the oven so that all the juices get locked inside. I mean, they're, you can see that they're pretty juicy, most of these. The small ones, are, I'm gonna guess, are gonna be chewy. They look a little overcooked. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that looks like a chicken drum and this one looks like a chicken flat. Like, can't be bad, it has to be real good. All right, so we're here now, we have our two, we have our wings in here with some tail and we're in two different kinds. We're gonna do buffalo sauce. Um, and we're also in it, buffalo and garlic, and then we're gonna do barbecue, so two different styles. So on this one here, we're gonna go ahead, sweet, sweet baby rays. <coughs> add some garlic, sauce, eh, that's barbecue sauce. And then here with the garlic, we're gonna add some garlic. And some blue sauce. We're gonna toss ingredients. just like that. Same with our barbecue sauce ones. So now we have our barbecue sauce and our buffalo. And what we're gonna do with that? <coughs> plus little packs and little punch. And then we're just gonna put in these metal trays, and we're gonna put them. With Aluminum foil so that way it locks in all the juices. Put them in the oven at 250 degrees and we're gonna bring it up that those last 10 to 20 degrees. Just like that. Alright, so now we're gonna get in tiny side of aluminum foil down, wrap them up, and tight so that no moisture gets out. We have our oven here to 250 degrees. You're gonna grab your dog first, slide him out of the way, open our oven, put our wings in. And probably, hopefully, within 30 minutes, they'll be done, be ready to go. All right, let's see what they look like. Woo, they're hot. That looks really good and so do the buffalo ones they look perfect alrighty guys so here's the end product we have our iguana tails and our wings we have two buffalo and two uh, barbecue sauce we also have my mom's pasta salad so we're gonna go right into it and we're gonna get with our buffalo wing this is one of the drums no ranch to start off let's just see how it is it's tender, white meat, and it tastes pretty good. I thought it was really good. I love a ranch. Definitely would do that again. Now the barbecue looks pretty good. And again, I smoked these for about three hours and then about like another 45 minutes in the oven with the sauce. Hmm. That one's a little bit more chewy, but still tastes really good. I actually like the barbecue more than the buffalo sauce. I, I like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Now, the tail. This is one of the barbecue ones. All came out. Not chewy at all. Very tender. Good white meat. Comes right off the bone, and it looks like a fish. All right, guys, well, we're gonna go ahead and eat this. Um, my, me and my family are all gonna eat the guana on the pasta salad. Uh, everything tastes amazing. Definitely will be doing this again uh, in the future. Um, other than that, guys, have a good night.